Okay, welcome boys and girls to another uh, math uh, lesson. Now, as you can see today in our class, we have a very beautiful corner. So for today, uh, we are going to have a corner shop in our class, as you can see. Now, from this our corner shop, we have different types of items. One, we have a package, uh, the column to the milk. Two, we have a match box. Three, we have excess books. We also have pens. Uh, then packets of pens. Yes, they are not empty. Inside we have pens. We have packets of chalk. Then we have uh, some CRE textbooks for class uh, 8. Now, why do we have this? In class 5, uh, uh, we learned something about the bills, but maybe you are not, you are not able to see uh, the show. But today it is brought here for you to be able to see how we buy things and sell things in a show. Now, from this my shop, I'm going to buy some items. So, some of the items I'm going to buy are from this shop, I'll buy uh, one textbook for CRE. So, this is the first item I'm going to buy. Again, from this shop, I'm going to buy two exercise books. So, these are the exercise books that I've bought from the shop. Uh, from this shop, again, I'm going to buy four pens. So these are the four pens that I've bought uh, from the shop. Now again from this shop I'm going to buy uh, two packets of chalk. So these are the two packets of chalk that I've bought from the shop. Now all together I've managed to buy the following items. Two packets of chalk, four pens, two exercise books, and one CRE textbook. Now, after buying these items, I can't just go with them without paying for them. And therefore, to pay for these items that I've just bought. I need to know the price of each and every item. So next to the shop, we have a list, as you can see. On this list, I have the names of the items that I've just bought. The first item on my list is are the textbooks. Two, I have the price of the excess books. Three, the price of the bio pens. The price of the packets of milk. The price for a, a pack of matchbox. And the price for a packet of chalk. Now, class, before I'm able to know how much I'm going to pay for the items, Who can tell me the name of this list that I have here in the chalkboard? Yes, it's called a price list. Now, what is a price list? Yes, that's a good sign. Somebody else? 
Yes, that's a good sign. Now, class, I want to tell me to read uh, the meaning of a price list. Now, as you can see, on the chalkboard, we can say that a price list is a list showing the items sold. A price list is a list showing the items sold. So if you look at this list, we have the items which are available in this uh, show. So this list here is what we find as price list, indicating or showing the list of the items which are being sold at this show. Now from this price list which is given here, I want to be able to know that how much am I going to pay for the items that have bought. So, this is where I'm going to calculate the cost of the items that are bought before I pay for them. Chocolate. To pay for these two packets of chocolate, 
I'll go back to my price list and check how each packet of chalk is being charged. On my price list, they are saying that one packet of chalk costs uh, 60 shillings. But now we need uh, two packets of chalk. So how much would I pay for the two packets of chalk? To be able to know how much I'm going to pay, I will take the two packets bought, then multiply by the price of each packet of chalk, that is 60 shillings, then if I multiply two by 60, I will get 120. So I'll come and divide to 120 here. Yeah. So class, as you can see, these are the list of items that I've just bought. And against each item, you can see how much I'm going to pay for them. Like for one textbook, I'm going to pay 150. For the four SS books, I'm going to pay 100 shillings. So for the two excess books, I'm going to pay 100 shillings. For the four bio pens, I'll pay, I'll pay 8 shillings. And for the two packets of chalk, I will pay 120 shillings. Now class, I want to work it out and be able to know that after buying all these items, how much am I going to pay for all of them in total? So I know that one out. So I'll start from the first one. So for the books, I'm supposed to pay 150 shillings. For the two excess books, I'm supposed to pay 100 shillings. For the four by your pens, I'm supposed to pay 80 shillings. And for the two packets of chalk, I am supposed to pay uh, 120 shillings. So after that, I will add and find the total. So when you add the zeros, you will get a zero. When we add the four zeros, still we get a zero. When we add the four zeros, still we get a zero. Then we come to the next column where we have five plus zero, which is five. Five plus eight uh, is thirteen. Then thirteen plus two plus, yeah, that's fifteen. So we write five and then we carry one to the next column. One plus one plus. Good. Two plus one plus. Good. And then three plus one. Four. Good. So it means that for all the items I bought, I am going to pay four hundred and fifty shillings. So the total cost for the, all the items that I bought is four hundred and fifty shillings. Now. So, as I've said, I've, I've said that for all the items I've bought, I'm going to pay 450. Now, what name do you give to this list that I've just prepared, indicating the price that I'm supposed to pay, or the amount I'm supposed to pay for the items that I've bought? Who can try? No, that one is wrong. Somebody else? Yes. So what I've just prepared here, what I've prepared here is a bill. So we can now say because the, the person who was buying these items was uh, Teacher Onyango, so we can say this is Teacher Onyango's bill. So what I've prepared here is Teacher Onyango's bill. So the next thing I'm going to ask uh, Ask that what is a bill? Who can tell me what a bill is? That's a good trial. Who else can try? Good, I think that girl is right. Now let's see what a bill is. According to what the teacher had explained before.
So class I three what is written here. As you can see, we are saying a bill is a list of items bought plus the cost of the items bought and the amount of the items bought. So simply as I said that a bill is a list showing the items bought, the cost of those items which are bought and the amount of money to be paid for those items which are bought. So what I prepare here is what you call a bill. And because the person who was preparing the bill or the buyer was Tijau Nyango, so we call it Tijau Nyango's bill. Now, after knowing the cost of the bills class, I need to pay for these items. Remember, these items I bought from the shop, but I did not pay for them. Why? Because I wanted to know that how much am I supposed to pay for the items. So I must work out my bill to be able to know the amount of money I'm supposed to pay. But now we know that I'm going to pay 450 shillings for all the items. Therefore, I'm going to pay for my bill. With me here is a 500 shilling note. So I'm going to give this to the shopkeeper. Remember the items I bought were 450 shillings. So they have something I was expecting him to give me back. Good. As you can see, the shopkeeper has given me back 50 shillings. Now, what do we call this finishing that is given back to me? Good. So this is called balance. So what the shopkeeper has given back to me is what we call the balance. Now, how do you get this balance of 50 shillings that she has given to me? Well, to get the balance, it's simply the amount of money that was given out by the buyer, we take away the bill to be, uh, for the items. As in, in this case, the buyer gave out 500 shillings, but the items he bought in total were 450. Therefore, it means from a 500 shillings note that he gave out, he was expecting back 50 shillings. So that 50 shillings given back to the buyer is what we refer to as the balance. Now class, with this our shop and our prices, I want you to work out uh, or prepare a bill for yourself, each and every uh, pupil, prepare a bill for herself or for himself uh, on the following items. So all of us are going to buy one pen. Plus two packets of milk. Uh, plus uh, five excess books. And the last item we are going to buy in this case are uh, the uh, eight match boxes. So each and every person to work out his or her own bill in your access books. I'll be going down to check and see how the bills are being prepared. Meanwhile class, that's not the end of our lesson for today, until we meet next time.